everyone, this is Dr. Malego. We're going to be talking today about how to complete measures in 4-4 time. As I've written down here at the bottom of the screen, 4-4 time can be represented by a C, and that also means common time because it's the most common meter that we hear. So if I turn the radio on, I'm sitting here in my car right now recording this. If I turn the radio on, we'll see if a song happens to be on, and we'll see if it's in 4-4. Four, four. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So sure enough, the first song that I put on on the radio just happens to be in 4-4 meter. Probably the majority of the songs that you hear on the radio will be in 4-4 meter. So let's take a look here at this first example. And um, what I want us to take a look at specifically is filling out the measures so they equal 4-4. Four, four. So that means what we're looking for is four beats in every measure. So we're going to have to draw on the knowledge we have from the note and rest values presentation you've already seen. So what we look here, when we look here at this first example, we know that the half note gets two beats. So there's beat one, two, and the quarter note gets a beat. So that's B3. So what we need to do to fill out the rest of this measure so it equals four is we need to come up with something that's going to fill four beats. Now we could put a quarter note in there. That would certainly work. Or we might choose to put maybe two eighth notes because that would work. That would fill the measure in. We could also decide maybe we want some silence. So um, maybe we want to have a quarter rest. All of those things would be good options. So we'll leave a rest in there for right now. So let's go on to the second measure. We know a quarter note gets one beat, a quarter rest gets one beat, quarter note gets one beat. Again, we're left with one beat. So we have the same kind of options we had in the first example. So for this one, let's just use a quarter note. And that gives us beat four. So if you're confused as to why I'm counting one, two, three, four, why there's a three, for example, here under a quarter note, which gets one beat. The reason for that is that we're adding up every beat. And every time you get to one of these, which is a bar line, you start counting over from one. Every time you see one. So, you know, here's another one, which means we start over with one. And, and challenge yourself, how many beats does that dotted half note get? You said three, you win the prize, except there's not a prize except knowledge, which is better than any prize you could get. All right, so we have one, two, three, and we're looking for, again, a fourth beat. So, um, and because this is the end of, of the piece, let's just make a rest there at the end. That would be nice. Okay, let's move on to the next example. And here, this one's a little more tricky because we have 16th notes. So we have to remember how many beats these 16th notes get. So when we're counting and we have more things happening on a beat than, than just the steady beat, uh, what a lot of times how people count is they would say one, E, and, uh. Um, some schools, some people will say down, E, up, uh, because they think about tapping their foot, Mississippi, do da data. There are all sorts of different ways of counting, but the most sort of grown-up or adult way to count would be to say one, E, and, uh. And then we know that um, the quarter note gets one beat. So all of this stuff happened on one beat. So that means that's all one. So this is two. So that means we need to fill beats three and four so that we can have four beats because our time signature, here we are on common time, four beats per measure. That's what that tells us. And... Um, just another little fact is the bottom note tells us quarter note equals one beat. And this is all that common time. Very exciting. All right, so one E and a two, we need two more beats. So we could choose to take care of them with one note, like a half note, or we could choose two different notes, like maybe two quarter notes. Maybe we want, uh, maybe a rest. We, that'd be awfully nice. Let's have a rest in there. And then let's leave the quarter note. So one E and a two, rest, four. One E and a two, three, four. Now let's move on to the next measure because since we have a bar line, we know we have to start over at one. So this next measure, uh, we have eighth notes. So just like when we were counting, you know, these 
uh, 16th notes over here, because we have two notes happening in the same steady beat, we have to figure out how we're going to count those. So like what we had um, with the 16th notes, we're going to say this is one and. And you can see if you look back to the 16th notes, we had a one and we had an and. And if you erased these notes and you know took them away, then you'd, you'd have two eighth notes, okay? So this this all works together. It's not like totally new things here. Okay, so one and two, three. Oh my gosh, this is like the top one where we have to just come up with something that takes one beat. Let's give a note here. We'll have a nice quarter note. Now we move on again because we have a bar line. We start over at one, and that's a quarter rest. Then we have eighth notes, which come on beat two, so that's going to be counted as two and. And then we have, oh, what is that? My gosh, we haven't seen one of those since the last presentation. All right, well, that is going to start beat three, but it's only going to take half of the beat. So we now have one and a half beats that we have left to fill in here in order to be able to uh, have a full measure. So we might choose, you know, maybe we're going to have an eighth note. There's not a lot of room here. Um, and then maybe we'll have a quarter note because that's about all I can squeeze in there. So that's going to give us the and right here, and then we'll have beat four. Take a look at a little bit more practice. Uh, if this is like, oh my gosh, I know how to do this. This is not hard at all. You can pause and stop the recording. We're just going to practice these next couple examples here, and then we'll wrap it up. So here we are again, four, four meter, counting. This is stuff we've seen in the first slide. One and... Now here we have an eighth rest, two, and then we have an eighth note, and quarter rest, three, and then we need to fill in beat four. So just to make it a little more interesting, let's put some eighth notes in here. So we can have two eighth notes, which is going to give us beat four. Um, bar lines, so we start over again at one. So now we have a whole note, and a whole note gets how many beats? If you said four... You are correct. So that is going to be one, two, three, four. We don't add any more stuff to this measure because it is full. Then we go on. We see the bar line. Now we move on to a, oh, what kind of note, what kind of thing is that? It looks kind of like a hat. That is a half rest. How many beats? You said two. You're correct. So we have beat one, two, quarter note is beat three. We have one beat left. Let's give it a quarter note equals four. Last practice exercise. So we have a quarter note, which gets how many beats? One. How many beats for the half note? Two beats. So it's going to take up beats two and three. One beat left. Too many of these with just one beat left. What was I thinking? Okay. There's a little rest. Let's have a rest in there. Quarter rest. Beat four. Bar line. So we start over again. Now this one's very tricky. So we know that an eighth note gets a half of a beat, so that's on beat one, but it only takes up half a beat one. So that means that this quarter note starts on the and of one. But we know that a quarter note takes a full beat. So that means it's going to be the and two, and then the eighth note is going to happen on and. So if you're um, counting this and you have a steady beat of one, here's our steady beat. It's going to be one and, and, one and, and, one and, and. So that's going to be our rhythm. It's a syncopated rhythm. Um, it may, might make you feel like kind of jumping. So uh, if you think of the old song back in the olden days, jump, jump, okay? that's That stuff happens in the words jump happen on the upbeat. And that makes you think about jumping because your, your foot will be going up. Your body wants to go up. So that gives us a little syncopation. I write that word down so you can see what it is. Syncopation. Alrighty. Now, we know now that we have two beats left. So uh, let's, let's see, what could we do? Well, this took two beats, so we could actually do the exact same thing. Eighth, quarter, eighth. So if we're going to perform that, um, that rhythm, and here's our steady beat. One and... Bum, bum, ba, ba. So, bum, ba, bum, bum, ba, ba. One and, and three and four. Is four, four is in there. So, one and, and three and, and. And then we have our last measure here. One, two, three. What are we going to do here at the end? 
well, let's end with sound. Let's end with a quarter note. So I hope that's uh, been helpful to you. You could go back and, and watch it again. Remember, these are not the only correct answers to fill in those spots. That's where the creativity comes in, where you get to be a composer, which you will be doing in one of your upcoming exercises. Thanks for watching.